Thank you very much. Good morning, people. Good morning. Okay. Did everybody got your, uh, your breakfast? Good morning, people. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. So here comes. Let's start with my journey. Let's start my journey at graduation in physics. Well, Federal University is a very good university, despite not being a paying university. It's free, but it's very good. São Carlos is in, in the São Paulo state. Here is São Carlos, a little bit northwest, north, there, there is São Carlos, there uh, I graduated in physics, and then started everybody trying to persuade me that I'm not good enough, I'm never good enough for nobody, okay? <laughs> when I was about 15 years old, uh, my physics, physics teacher told me, you are going, you're going to never learn physics. Never, 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 never. I was already in the physics graduation, and one of my teachers, I tried to get an undergraduation scholarship, scientific initiation, we call it here. And, well, I always, from when I was four years old, I always been a researcher because I was always like my grandma used to call me, xereta, which means very, very, very curious, but annoying curious because always asking about something, why something and everything. And my, my grandma got very upset. And my mama uh, decided, oh, she found a person, uh, a retired teacher that he used to teach it young children. And when I was four, four years, oh, uh, four and a half years old, I already knew how to read, how to write, and how to calculate. So whenever I asked something that everybody was annoying to answer, I, my mom would say, go, go, go to the encyclopedia, which is, used to be a Google printed. And yes, the encyclopedia always answered my questions. So I was, in gradu I was graduating in physics and discovered I could get money for researching. I said, oh my God, I want, I want, I want. Well, the answer, no, you're going to never use physics for nothing. Why am I going to, to waste a scholarship under graduation for you, with you? You're never working, you're going to work with physics. Okay. Despite that, I, yeah, I got my master's degree still in São Carlos, but now at University of São Paulo, the biggest, <laughs> yes or not, Zélia, the biggest university in Brazil. Am I right? <laughs> uh, my master's degree I got, I got in uh, USP, it is also in São Carlos. I worked uh, with, uh, in solar cells, solar cells to, to transform uh, solar energy in uh, electrical energy. I mounted an ellipsometer. The ellipsometer uh, works to make my solar cell very, very efficient in the way that all the and solar cells ray would get inside the solar cell uh, and got inside and not reflect. I used to work with the surface to make it work properly and not waste uh, solar cells ray. So, in my ellipsometer, in my master's degree, I worked with anti-reflective -ref, anti uh, surfaces to make solar cells more efficient, working better, getting more energy and uh, solar energy, it transform it more in, in electrical energy. Well, when I was working with it, uh, went to São Carlos, an uh, Italian researcher, Giancarlo Celotti, and he said, Sonia, uh, there is a girl, oh, yes, my supervisor, my master supervisor, 
very nice guy, was the one who gave me the worst evaluation in my master degree thesis. You know, the guy who was supposed to help me and make me and defend my thesis was the one who, go, who go, gave me the worst evaluation. And he did nothing, because who worked with me in my ellipsometer was Caterine Sumonti. Gian Giancarlo Celotti, when he saw what I was developing in my master's degree, oh, hang on, uh, am I talking too fast? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Is it okay? Whenever it's not, I stop and I try, you know, this is my way. I, I, I speak too fast, uh, even in English. In Italian, you cannot imagine how I speak. Uh, well, then, uh, Caterina Sumont is used to live with us in São Carlos one year. We mounted the lipsometer, we together. And then when I finished defending my master's degree, Giancarlo Celotti said, Sonia, uh, come here to e come to Italy to, to, to have your doctorate. But you are already doctoressa when you finish your graduation in Italy. So the, the CAP CNPq who gives us uh, the scholarship to go abroad wouldn't accept if I ask a, a, a doctorate scholarship to Italy. So I studied in a Escola Politecnica, uh, Engineering Polytechnic School in, uh, here in São Paulo, went to Italy to de develop my PhD uh, thesis. So I went to National uh, Research Council and worked with Sandro Somi. When I had my thesis completely written very nicely, and uh, in my way back to Sao Paulo to defend my uh, doctorate at Poly in Sao Paulo, one, one friend from the, the CNR got his, her husband transferred to England. Arrived in England, she said, Sonia, come immediately here. Oh, this is the Conselho Nazionale delle Ricerche in Bologna. This is Piazza Maggiore, and I work at the Institute of Chemistry, Technology, and Math Materials, LAMEL, and I work at in, uh, with Mazinga. Mazinga is an equipment to make me organize and produce uh, junctions, which is part of micro devices, is a junction which makes the micro devices work to work. And my work was to make this junction as shallow as possible. Because you know, the tendency to today is that micro devices become, which are today, nano devices. And to do so, the junction must be very, very, very shallow. This was my work in Italy, and uh, the machine which helped me to do that was Mazinga. And I worked with it my entire time in Italy. Well, the friend who was, had his, her husband transferred to England went to University of Manchester, and as soon as she arrived in England, she said, come here immediately. The, the, I have one sponsor for you. He got already your sponsorship. He knows you already. So I went to Manchester, which is 20 miles from, uh, from Liverpool. Liverpool was where Beatles were born. Do you know who were Beatles? <laughs> well, no, no, you know you. Do you know? Who? Okay. Oh, at least. Anybody else? No, you, no, you. No, you, no, you. <laughs> Beatles. She's not sure. She's not sure. Anybody knows who? Did you? Why? Oh, my God. Because it's 60s. 60 something. They, they, your father was not born when, when uh, Beatles stopped. Well, Paul McCartney is still alive. 
I did everything. Walk in strawberry fields, eat strawberry in the strawberry fields, walk in Abbey Road, and we were four doing like that, like the uh, yes, Abbey Road, a cover of the LP. I don't know even the name anymore because they don't exist anymore. But anyway. It was very nice. Liverpool is fantastic. This is the UMIST University. I worked in the Department of Electrical Engineer. But, but you're not physics. What we, you were doing uh, in Department of Electrical Electronics? Well, dears, physics, the mother of science, is also the mother and father and uncle and everybody, the entire family of the technological development. Because the, the entire development we are living today comes from semiconductors. My entire career, I use semiconductors. Semiconductors are equipment, are, is a material which is between conductors that conduce electricity and isolants. And the semiconductor can conduce or not whenever it want, or you can design, you can define when it's gonna to conduct or not. And this is the base of all micro devices, everything you have in your computer, in your ce cell phone, everything, you have a semiconductor inside there, conduct conducting sometimes or not, and working this way, doing the fantastic things the development in this area does today. So this is why I, I was in the electric engineering electronics. The, the boss, the CEO of this department, the chef of this department was a physics, and my sponsor, was a physics as well. So I was in physics even in the engineering and electronic electri electricity department. Well, semiconductor is I mean, my area con all the time. This is the day I defended my PhD uh, thesis. This was the, the equipment that I used again all the time trying to make the devices as shallow and as smaller as it, it was possible at the time. And it, I, I was very successful on that. Well, this, this thing made me the first um, black woman. I, I say declared because there are lots of black women that they don't discover they are black. So I am black. Well. So why you make your hair blonde? Because I can, because I want, and because it's, <laughs> because it's all. <laughs> ah, she's blonde as well. <laughs> and because it is all white, and I was not in time to decide, yes, I should wear white. So I put blonde, and then I decide now to leave it white, and it starts to grow black again. I think I'm coming back in the time. <laughs> Sunday uh, was my mommy's birthday, and uh, when she was 80 years, 80 years old, everybody wore, wore a T-shirt with her picture and written, it is 80. Last Sunday, we wore, we wore the same T-shirt. It is 80 again. <laughs> so... I know, I am deciding which, which is my age. Well, I only discovered that I am the first black woman uh, with PhD in physics with this magazine. It, it is an electronic magazine, Black Women of Brazil. The, the editor is a very nice black guy, at least two, two, I don't know, six, seven inches high. And uh, he, I was in an event at Afrobras. Afrobras is a ONG, o -N -G, uh, responsible for the University of Zumbi dos Palmares, which has 89, 90% of the students black. I was there 
very, very, very upset because somebody uh, canceled my, my speech. My, my mom was there to watch me talking, and somebody canceled my speech. I was so upset. Then that very beautiful, tall guy came with both arms open, gave me a huge... Give me, it was very nice. And then he said, my first PhD, physics, black woman physics in Brazil. I said, what? Do you know that you are the very first black woman with PhD in physics in Brazil? No, I didn't know. And he published that in 2012. CNPQ and, let me see, CNPQ and CAPES knew it. Those are the, the organs that give some money for us. My entire life, master, uh, PhD, my time in Italy, one of the, those paid me to be there. And they didn't tell me this story. And they knew that on uh, 20th of June, uh, 2010, when everybody started to put in the curriculum lattice the color of their our skin. They knew that, and they never told us. But let me tell you something very sad about CNPq, or CAPS. Catemari Rosa, professor at Univers Federal University of Bahia, researched all black people, engineer, chemistry, Chem, uh, mathematic, mathematicians, physics, all, all areas, some with international awards, all black people of Brazil, he put it in a, in a book, and called the CNPq Caps. I made the book is ready. All the black, important, and qualified people are in this book. I only wanted you to print it or do something because I would like everybody in the entire country could access these informations for free. So could you please do it for me, the answer? These people are not interested. We are not interested in these people. I, then she said, Sonia Guimarães is there, and she is the first black woman with PhD in physics in Brazil. Is she dead? <laughs> Katemari said, no, no, she's alive, she's okay, very okay. Uh, I don't know how to do <laughs> No, I don't have plan to die anytime soon. And then the SNPK answered, no, 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 we are not interested. It has to have a white policeman to put his knee on the neck of George Floyd in Pennsylvania, let's say, Pennsylvania, United States, and kill George Floyd. Let's say they killed George Floyd on Monday, Monday morning. Monday night, somebody called Katemari. Katemari, Kanigari, nós queremos, we want your book. Yes, 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 we want your book. You see, somebody black, a black person should be murdered in the United States to a very big um, money people, CNPQ, CNPQ is the one who has money for the research, discovered they were being racist. And then now they want the rest of the story, I don't know, because then came the pandemic and I never saw this book. But anyway, now they are interested. Well, then coming back from England, I went to work at, at uh, in Technological Center of Informa Information, Renato Archer. And I, oh, this in Campinas, in Campinas is still, São Paulo States, this is Campinas. My entire career is in São Paulo States, so sorry. And I operationalized an electronic scanner, scanner microscope, which means to see very small things, very with voltage contrast, which means I could put a device, a micro device inside there. And so, something's going on with the microphone. Oh, sorry, sorry. 
uh, I operationalized I operationalized it, I scanner microscope, which makes very small things, big, 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 uh, with voltage contrast, which means I could put a device in there uh, on the right. It's not working. On the left, it is working. So I could see if it would be any problem some no working part inside of the device. If it is, yes, I could send to CTI back because uh, it used to be a, a plant which used to make micro devices. Today, Brazil doesn't make any micro devices. And the companies and, and uh, plants and everything are stopped because China is not making enough micro devices, and we, ha we have been in trouble. But anyway, it was some time ago, and another, <laughs> well, when I was in CTI, CTI, uh, Mamana was the president, and he got lots of scholarship to go to Europe. He said, good, good, good. I'm going to Europe for my postdoc postdoctorate, and I went quickly, quickly to ask the answer. No, you cannot ask one of this scholarship because you have been already too long in Europe. One year and 10 months in Italy for my PhD, three years in England to get my PhD, and I could not go, I could not go because I have been in Europe too long. So I, I was the only one fluent in Italian and in, in English, and the only one who could not go, because I have been in Europe too long. And you can say, yes, Sonia, you just arrived from England. Give somebody else a chance. Well, people who didn't work in CTI got the scholarship. And I couldn't, because I have been in Europe too long. It was 30 years ago. This year here, my name is considered to be the director of CTI. I'm not chic enough. <laughs> I already uh, presented my, my ideas, what to do there. Uh, my, my sponsors and people who was thinking I'm really good director said, because you see, when you do all the exams, Three names go to Luciana, the Minister of Science, Technology, and Innovation. And uh, everybody sure one of these three names is mine. The black woman minister, a black person, a black woman being director is very 2023, isn't it? <laughs> so I should, I should. But uh, it is uh, the exam is where in November. August or something, and till today nobody said nothing. So maybe no, 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 I'm still going too long in Europe. It's better not be the director. But I present, this is not me. Everybody who watched the old presentation said, my ideas were the best. I am the best. Well, then I came to to Institute of Technology Technology of Aeronautic. This is the this is the institute. Here is where the dim is, and now it's gonna change the dim. There is two women trying to get the, to be the dim of ITA, and he oh 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 can go 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 no 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 no, and this is where my room. This is where my room is. And let me tell you what. This is still Sao Paulo State. And I work in São José dos Campos. My entire career is São Paulo, and now I'm finishing. I have to retire soon. So entire, everything in São Paulo. I already received some invitation for faculty, University, Federal University of Paraná. But it is cold and has no beach. So, so sorry, maybe not. 
the beach. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you what happened in 2021 with pandemic and everything. 17 girls got in Ita. Till 19 in 97, 96, women, girls could not even apply. They could not do the exam to get in ITA. In 2021, seven, with pandemic and everything, seven girls got it. And if you look properly, you're going to see no white of them. I cannot say anything because I'm forbidden. And my lawyer said, please, Sonia, don't get in troubles. But just look, some are not white, aren't them? So, yes, this is Laura, my uh, sponsor. I, I, gave, I give her some advice. This is 2022. Eh, Sonia, this time only 10 got in. But let me present to you Bruninha. Bruninha is black. I can say it because she uh, auto-declared herself to me, so I can say to everybody she's black. I'm not got in trouble. And she told me, Professora, Professora, teacher, teacher, I have to know you personally. I watched one of your uh, talkings, and you said in your talking, you can be wherever you want. In whatever university you can be, you have just to work hard and you can get in it. And then she said, look at me at Ita. Black, her father and mother did, are not rich, very simple person. Her father works with parties. He, they, he works in a country uh, company. My mom, um, I, I didn't need to work in my graduation because my mom has a country company. No, no, now, now she's retired. My sister takes care of it. But anyway, my mom, I didn't need to work. The money my mom got with her company maintained me in my entire graduation not working. In her mother, uh, sui, uh, military clothes. So very simple people. She got two eyes in the Military Institute of in, uh, 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 Military Institute of uh, Engineering, what is from uh, Army. Uh, ITA is Aeronautics. Uh, Military Institute of Engineering is Army. And, but because it is in Rio de Janeiro, her father said, no, no, no. Filha minha, is, my, my, my daughter, my only daughter, is not going to live in Rio de Janeiro. When she got in Ita, which is in São José, she lives, her family lives in Guara, Guaratinguetá, which is 92 kilometers from São José dos Campos. He said, okay, Ita, you can go. Her dream... They study to become what? Oh, hang on. That, that's what I'm going to show now. That's what I'm going to show. Hang on. Be patient. <laughs> I'm going to show it immediately. Uh, no, there is some good news for women, and then I'm going to show it. And, uh, okay, okay. Her dream is to be physics teacher. But her father said, physics teacher dies for starvation. The salary is too small. You're going to die for starvation. I never had. Sometimes I had to starve because, you know, I, I go to Escola de Samba, and it's very important to be slim in the Escola de Samba. But I never had problem with my food. But her father thought that one and didn't allow even to, to, to try to be physics teacher. But uh, engineer, he is okay. But he, she's getting all physics course because at ITA, you can have a minor in physics. You can uh, graduate in physics in ITA, and then after five, two years, and then five, uh, after five years, be an engineer. So she's getting all the physics. She's going to be a, a physics teacher. That's for sure. 
This is Mariana. She loves me and writes me in the reporter. We are very honored to have you as, my teach, as our teacher. You are very good. I'm just telling that because I went in a very important television uh, program, Conversa com, uh, Talking to Bial, and he has asked me, how is to teach in a school? Male, white, and military. And I answered, they hate me, very hate me, hate me, hate me. And then, after 1912, started the uh, affirmative action and racist, racy uh, quotes. So black people start to get more, and everything changed, and they love. After 19, to 2019, everything changed. One more thing. The best engineer in 2022 was a woman, a girl. In 72 years that, that it exists, it only happened in two, for three, 37 students. In 2014, was a woman as well. But in her five years at ITA, she never got evaluation less than 9.5, with 10 being the most. So the women are taking care of everything. And if you want some more, let me present to you Lu. A Lu got um, the biggest uh, evaluation in the exam to get at ITA, the best evaluation. But if one woman best valuation of 9,000, because it's a lot of people who tries ITA. This is she with military uh, clothes. In the third best evaluation was Debbie. In the entire first year, they have to do the military training, like to go to a war. In 2023, we have more than 9,000 people trying to get. Uh, they, it, we have a 150 or 160 positions. It was already the first phase. 860 went to second, second phase. Um, pretty soon, we're going to know who got in. The number of girls trying increased. Very nice, isn't it? Well, let me answer your question. In the first two years, all the, everybody who wants to be an engineer have to uh, attend the fundament course, fundamental courses where they learn physics, chemistry, mathematics, introduction to the computer science, and human science. Everybody. I teach second semester, first year, and first semester, second year, experimental physics. At the end of the second year, depend on your evaluation on the test to get in ITA and your evaluation in the first year, you start choosing aeronautic engineer for aeroplanes, electronic engineer for aeroplanes as well, uh, electronics and uh, computer is the one everybody wants. Mechanic aeronautic to build uh, aeroplanes or part of it or develop it or create the first car who win to fly. Will to fly. It's ready. Uh, they have already 590 people buying it already. You see? Civil, civil aeronautic engineer to build uh, airports, computer engineer, computer and electronics, everybody wants this one. And, oops. Oh. And aerospatial engineer for, to work with the millionaires in the United States. <laughs> but anyway, they work very hard. Let's tell you, Boeing has a office in São José dos Campos. Why do you think they are there? Boeing, the biggest aeroplane and everything uh, that exists in the world, has an office in São José dos Campos. It, it is because there is no qualified people there. 
Well, talking about qualified people, Stanford University uh, put the 10, the best scientists, the top scientists of the world. And there are two, Wilson and uh, Tell, uh, tell these two, Tobias, these two best scientists of the world teach physics at ITA in my department. Uh, Stanford is the third best university in the United States. So what they say must be true, don't you think? Very good. So, ah, OK. Well, uh, in my third year at, at uh, ITA, I was qualified in a concourse, approved, hired, uh, learn English at University F uh, Federal of São Carlos, Master USP de São Carlos, uh, PhD at UMIST in England, and then one of my colleagues got in my, in my office with 12 evaluations of me, my students. In this year, there was no women yet, and in this, I used to, to teach 120 students, and this evaluation, it was written. The Sonia, Sonia teacher, doesn't know physics. It, she is the worst teacher in the world first year, second semester, and they knew all the teachers of the world. And her clothes cause too much attention to her body. In other words, I should leave my bottom in my house and go to teach without no bottom. Because my bottom was uh, being a problem in my class. You see? And then I go to, to uh, talking with Bial, a hundred million viewers, and they, they hate me, and the people at ITA say, no, she's lying, she's lying. But it helped, helped me, and because of that, I will never be professor, titular professor, which is the highest position I could get if I would. <laughs> Well, when I was a spellet, I went to work with infrared sensors. Infrared sensors see uh, call, uh, uh, hot waves. And uh, I worked in the IMR, AMR, material, uh, material physics. And I invented how to produce so, uh, infrared cell, cells, sensors. These infrared sensors, when encapsulated, can see, become detectors, and they go in the head of missiles. It is because of this device that the missile can see a plane, because they can see 600 Kelvin as temperature. It, this is exactly the temperature of aeroplane flying. I asked for a patent, and I got it, and now I am inventor. Remember that girl who would never learn physics? That girl who would never use physics for nothing? Now she is an inventor, and the infrared sensor is Pure physics. Very little chemistry, because you have to produce it. Some electronics. OK. Engineers are people as well. Some electronics, because uh, the sensor has to see the wave, the, the heat wave, and transform it in electrical energy, and send it to the computer. And then the computer say to the missile, go, 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 go. So yeah, <laughs> I am an inventor. Well, and uh, I came back to teach. Uh, when I was expelled, I tried to talk to my boss. My boss was traveling. My vice boss said, go away, because you have been persecuted. I tried to talk to the dean. The dean said, the dean didn't receive me. I talked to the vice dean. He said, you are being persecuted. 
when the person who doesn't want you here uh, go away, you come back. That, we, that is what happened. I came back to exactly his room. I came back to teach. And <laughs> yes, I came back to teach. And uh, when I went to Conversa com Bial, uh, everybody at Ita was very upset with me. They said, Sonia is lying. Uh, Ita is not ma masculist, is not uh, racist, and it's not homophobic. See, in my classes, you don't have more than four, student, four women, four girls students. Why do you think three girls, and because I teach f experimental physics, they work in groups? Why do you think three girls may, uh, organize a group only with girls? Because there is no masculism, there is nothing. Every, there is the paradise, there is the paradise. And I asked them, why are you all here? Because why don't you and divide with the, the boys? Because they don't let, let us to switch on the equipment, have doubts, we cannot have doubts. If we ask anything, they say, hey, she doesn't know anything. So we decided to do just ourselves. They went very nice. I am a very, a very, I want everything done very well, and they got very nice evaluation. So they are able, no problem. Well, because my expelling, I have, uh, my publications have been lost the years I was expelled, and I will never, never uh, get to be the highest position as teacher. Some students still have problem with my, my, with me there. At uh, talking with Bial, I, I told him, it's very, very difficult to get at ITA. Then you get at ITA. Can you imagine the social class of my students? And then the guy gets in the class, experimental physics, second semester, and see me. You see, this sort of person is the one who cleans, who cooks, who takes care of them. No teaching at ITA. More, moreover, physics. If I was there teaching dancing or cooking, OK, OK, she's perfect. But physics, no, 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 no. It's terrible. And my colleagues, one of my colleagues in the meetings used to say, no, he says this to you. Ita, it's not for everybody, Sonia. There are people who is not material for Ita. Which color and gender is our are these people. Indeed. And then I got very upset in the meeting. And then he got up. Sonia, I'm not being racist of him. No, you are not. You didn't mean what you said, did, that, did you? But anyway, this is my life. Well, but there is also, just to say, I didn't talk about flowers. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am a celebrity. I am a uh, console, created console of Afrobras. This picture is the first graduation, uh, first graduation pictures of Afrobras, the Palmares University. Can you see any white? That now is the contrary, okay? Can you see any white? It is very nice. When I go in this school, I feel so at home. So nice. Everybody's black. There is one Japanese and there is one African girl who came to Brazil to study at uh, Zumbi dos Palmares. So, but uh, she's very light skinned and has blue eyes. She is from Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde is mixtured. Uh, but anyway, it's not beautiful, this picture. And it makes, and when. Uh, when Brazil completed 
five, 500 years of uh, discovering, they made several celebrations, built a an, uh, navy and everything to celebrate it. Nobody, nobody, nobody <laughs> remembered the people they got violently from their houses, their country, their continent, and brought here and slavery them. Nobody remembered to celebrate them. And Afro Brass created the Black Race Trophy. I got it in 2000. And next Monday is going to be a very nice party. And uh, Gloria Maria is the one who is going to be uh, celebrated this year. It's very nice, this party. Everybody in long guns. Everybody very, very, very chic. It's wonderful. 20th of November. But this made me very famous. Look who is my friend, friend, friend. Maju, she is also my friend. I put this picture because I preferred her new look. <laughs> look, Beth, you are too young. Do you know who is Billy, po Billy Paul? Who was Billy Paul? Do you know who is Milton Nascimento? Billy Paul as well? Uh, I, I cannot remember his song. But you see, we, we, we have lunch together, me and Billy Paul. Milton Nascimento, we, are, we cut our relationship. He said to everybody, take this girl out of me. She's always with me every time and she wants to take a picture. I used to love him. Now I don't like him anymore. Uh, look, look. In this year, I went to the swimming pool with Margaret Menezes, and we uh, practiced gymnastics together. It was very nice. Now she is a minister. Uh, it is uh, Jesse Jackson. Because of Jesse Jackson, Obama could be the president of the United States. When Jesse Jackson was American senator, he created the law where colored people could try, could apply, could be candidate to be the president. He was not thinking about Obama, but anyway, Obama was the one who got it. This is Wally Swinka, and he is the first black guy to get the Nobel Prize. He came to Brazil again in 5th of November. Salvador created a uh, black conscience in, in the first week of November. Angela, uh, Viola Davis came as well, very international event, and he came back, came again. This is the, here have the mayor of Sao Paulo, when he was the mayor of Sao Paulo, but ha has the dean of Zumbi dos Palmares, Dean of Zubidos Palmares, the mayor of São Paulo, the widow, widow of Mandela, but she was also married with Graça Machel, with Mach Machel the tried to, liber to liberate Mozambique. She is very powerful. And the others are deems of historically um, black... Uh, oh, th there is also... Uh, uh, now I'm not going to remember her name. But uh, these, these people are deans of historically black universities of the United States. Why did you come here? When there was the uh, uh, Without Borders scholarship, the first 234 people who got this scholarship, only four were black. There was a commotion. Some people uh, put some chains around themselves in front of mini, uh, uh, education minister, ministry. And at the same time, Dilma was in the Harvard gym, talking with the Harvard gym. It, it went to all the, the social media, and the dean of harder asked Dilma, what's going on? Where, why don't you send black people to here? 
And then the president of CNPq again answered, black people do not speak English. So the historically black uh, school and uh, universities in the United States came to Brazil and said, bring them to, uh, to us. At least six months before the scholarship start, we teach them English, and then they get the scholarship and start to do whatever they went to do for No Borders scholarship. And it was done, but then all University of the United States decided, no, no, you can bring them to us as well, to us as well. So I don't know how many black students went, but everything changed. One of my students went to Virginia University, and she works in a Korean company in learning Korean, and she's going to Korea very soon. So yes, 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 it's important to go and fight, fight all the time. Uh, OK, now me talking, because, because of this famous I got with Afrobras, I start talking with everybody, even though black people. Uh, Ana Paula Padrão uh, got in love with me and brought me here to her, to her program. Very important people, oh, CEOs of very big companies, only me, not CEO of nothing. And I talked everything I'm just telling you to 600 women. And then I start to talk everywhere. Itaú, women entrepreneurs. And there is in Sao Paulo, but no, now they have some students in Mina, in, uh, in other states. Uh, the owner of Ambev, Ambev is the biggest company who produces beer, soda, and everything. One of this, his owners gives to the best students in the public school from 12 to 16 years old this scholarship. And they go in which, which school they want, the best school in their city. And this guy takes care of this children from 12 till they got their first job. And this is me talking to lots, uh, 1,086 1, students in Sao Paulo. Here it's me talking to the people in Rio. And uh, it, is, it was very nice. They loved me. Uh, I talk all this stuff, and I always try to women to come to, to uh, physics, chemics, uh, mathematics, and everything. Then a very small guy, 10, 12 years old, came from very far away, she arrived very near me. Men can go to ITA as well, <laughs> because I always try women to get to ITA. Men, I want to go to it. Can I go? As I said, oh, you can. It's open for you. Uh, there was also a, uh, one of my students in the group. He used to be uh, Smartano. This is uh, University of São João del Rey. <laughs> Do you know that, Zélia? Uh, these guys made São João del Rey in the Minas Gerais state. This is São João del Rey. These guys... Uh, made a research, and even if I didn't defend my PhD thesis in uh, England and would come back to Poly in Sao Paulo, uh, I would still be the first black woman with doctorate in physics. There is no black woman doctorate in physics before me, and took a very long time to have one after. Uh, oh, and I am very chic indeed. I am in the book of Carlos Machado, genius of the universe. I am a genius. Ney Lopes also told me I am a remarkable personality in 20th century. It's me in his book. 
uh, Darlene Dalton made the book Black Women Matter. We are 12 women, and uh, yes, I am in there. I have, uh, the Race uh, magazine, which is a black magazine, wrote something about this book. And I'm also in the magazines of Zumbi. I was cover of Hassa magazine. I'm very chic indeed. This is the, my, my articles in uh, Zumbi dos Palmares magazine. And when the, uh, you're going to see who, who didn't see this movie, going to see tomorrow, né? you're going to. Today, today. Well, when this movie came out, everybody wants to know who were the pioneers in scientists in Brazil. And look, look who they found. And they found also Anita Canavarro, Catemari Rosa, and Denise Fungaro, uh, ma Denise Fungaro Master, Doctorate at USP São Paulo, Instituto uh, Nuclear Institute of Research. Then everybody knew me. No, no, she really exists. Joseli, who studies bio, bio, what she studies? Um, she's a biological scientist, created a, a calendar, black scientists, a scientist dissemination calendar for everybody to know, yes, yes, there is some black women that are indeed scientists. And I am also, mm, my name is used as black collectives in several institutes, e even USP, which is the biggest <laughs> university in Brazil. Uh, also, uh, in, in other universities, Unicamp, the second biggest university in Brazil. UNESP, like this one, also use my name in their Black Collective. Black Collective is a sort of quilombo. Quilombo is, was an organization that the people who were enslaved in Brazil organized themselves to uh, escape to slavery. So I used to say Black Collective is a quilombo. <laughs> I, I say that all the time. Yes, I go. I, I am also in television. This is the uh, talking with Bial. I have the WhatsApp of Emicida. Emicida is somebody very important. It's an MC very, very important. I have his WhatsApp. <laughs> I'm chic, chic, chic. It's not only Globo. Globo has 100 million billions, and it's real. Because this program came out, let's say, three in the morning one day. I was in the airport at six in the morning, and people already had seen it. Oh, didn't you sleep? They saw, so, very good to meet you in the airport at six o'clock in the morning. Oh, my God. Uh, it also record uh, new, uh, news. Oops, oops, oops. Mm. Come. Come, come, come. Record uh, news. Uh, this is about three black people in justice, science, in universities. And this is Kezia. Kezia is one of smart students, remember? The, the scholarship that takes care of them till they got their first job. And Kezia studied at Universidade Federal University of São Carlos Physics. She exactly followed my steps. Got, got uh, um, very badly in mathematics, but now she must be uh, graduated. But she was studying in São Carlos. Uh, I was also in the GN, GNT, uh, Globo, Globo, biggest television here. Um, part. This is Black Thing. They made a documentary about me. Now they are doing another documentary about me, but only me. And also in American books, because I am international. Uh, good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. Uh, 100 Real Life Tales 
of magic black girls. Look who is with me. This girl is the founder of Preta Feira Preta, e with the pandemic, she created, created Hub Preta. Now she's selling all the products of, their group, of her group to entire world, entire world. She must be a millionaire now. Uh, Angela Davis, a real black panther, and Gabby Douglas, the greatest record in gold medal in gymnastics. But talking about gymnastics, we are not bad about gold medals in gymnastics, and it's only Brazil, only Brazil. Uh, Ava Duvinet, she is a director of Selma, a very important uh, movie about uh, Martin Luther King. This is Bessie. She was the first black pilota, uh, pilot, uh, pilot of aeroplanes, black. And she only got this qualification because she went to live in France. Does anybody here watch the movie Doutora Brinquedos? She, she showed it once, the Bessie. And Bessie was very afraid of getting up in an aeroplane. It was very nice. Uh, she had to go to France because in the United States, the only thing black women in that period could do in a hangar where the aeroplane stays is to clean it, clean the bathroom, but never uh, drive it. So she had to change country. This is Issa Rae. She produced Insecure. She produced Insecure with $400. Today, she's a millionaire. MC Sofia, the, one, one of the biggest MC, Brazilian MC, and Kamala Harris, the vice president of the United States. Look who is in page 188. Myself, because I am also a rebel girl. Uh, also, we rise by lifting others. There is an, Af an African saying which says, one woman can bring another woman, and all of this woman can bring the entire community. And this book is about that. Then you, there is lots of famous people, and me. <laughs> and they put the picture of my uh, Trofeu Raça, also in there. I am in a short movie, Women, uh, women uh, Lightening the World, and we are in the official selection of Long Story Short of International uh, Festival Film in Bucharest. Oh, and I have some very nice uh, trophies. I got the... Uh, Education Award Trophy. I am a Professor Emerita Award. I got it with the Center of Integration, uh, Enterprise and School, and Estado de São Paulo, which is at least the second biggest newspaper in São Paulo. Remember that, that person who was the worst teacher in the world? Now she's Professor Emeritus and uh, Education a Warrior. So yeah, no, it didn't, didn't work. It did it. Uh, look at my trophy. And in 23 years that this trophy is uh, awarded, I am the first black woman. The first to get it was Ruth Cardoso, the wife of Fernando Henrique Cardoso, who was a president of Brazil. In some years after, he got this award as well. Estela Figueiredo Ferraz, she was a minister, education minister. And Angelita. Angelita is a, a very important uh, doctor in uh, intestines, she is one of the best of the world. And she, uh, she tutored a black girl who studies at uh, 
Medicine School at USP, Black Girl Medicine School at USP. After 106 years, the Medicine School at USP has a black collective, and she's one of the organized, and she works with Angelita. She wants to be specialized in intestines. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I got, I, I completed 30 years at ITA, so I got the, the medal, uh, Santos Dumont, the one who invented Embraer. Embraer is a big company who produces uh, airplanes. Get, get one of this medal as well. Look, Mamina went to get my medal with me. And uh, Mion, and the in the teacher's day, asked everybody, do you follow any of these profiles? Have a look. The profile, the first profile, he asked everybody to, to follow. My what, uh, Insta jumped in one minute. He said it in the morning, in the afternoon. My Instagram followers jumped from 14 to, uh, 13 to 14. And look who follows me. <laughs> she is a very good friend. Thank you very much. This is my Insta if you want to follow me as well. We are going to use up a little bit of the coffee break because we had a, a one hour coffee break for questions. But then at 11 sharp, we have to start because we have people connecting through Zoom. Okay. Thanks. Very beautiful Thank talk. Thank you very much. Who wants to ask something? <laughs> uh, professor. Um, uh, you are amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love you so much. Um, so I, well, I know that you, um, other than all these thing, things that you described, you also teach English voluntarily. I do. I do. And you just uh, received an award, Black Personality from the municipality of Sao Paulo. So, um, congratulations. Thank you. And I, I would like to ask you, as a black woman and as a, a teacher, as a professor of a very um, recommended uh, institution, um, in terms of uh, inclusion and diversity uh, in Brazil, what do you think about this system that uh, just pick 150 people from uh, 9,000 9, candidates. And um, you said, um, I don't know, I, I don't remember the, the program, but there is a program that they pick the best uh, students. Smart. Smart. Um, and... Uh, what do you think about that? Do you think that uh, all everyone can be the best, and um, or um, or I don't know. In some way, we uh, lost a lot of talents um, because uh, there are people they that can prove themselves. Themselves is very early in life. I cannot talk about the affirmative action and the uh, quotes in ITA. My lawyer is very upset, and they are always trying to do bad things with me, so I cannot. But I went to a very expensive school. I, I, I talked to students to a very expensive school, very good one. They have um, the mathematics, mathematics that you learn in the first year in the schools, uh, they teach it in the third year of uh, high school level. And they have 12 smartans, smartians 
uh, scholarships because it's Ambev who pays the school. None of them are black, none. But you see, to get the smart scholarship, you have to be the best of the school. And to know that, Ambev asks to the teacher, to the director of the school to tell me which one are the best. And how many directors of school are black? So I don't know the rest. I cannot say because my lawyer asked me, Sonia, don't say stupid things. But anyway, you can, you can reach it, OK? Uh, yes, we are losing some very good talents with a bullet in their head or drugs or everything. Yes, yes, yes. And nothing is being done for that. Okay, the quotes and the affirmative action is helping, but very little and very slowly. Okay, be happy with that because, you see, nobody... Uh, there is what one percent of the lawyer, the people in the power, uh, congressmen, senators, black. Why a white person would be worried with black people in Brazil? You see, they deserve what they get. So, see, yes, the situation is very, very sad. Very, very, very sad. This is why I could be retired in 2019 when I saw. Uh, Bruninha, in 2020, I said, okay, it's okay, it's worse to stay here, uh, listen to my colleagues who are very bad, because Bruninha, it's very nice, made me very, very happy, <laughs> because you see, it's one every, I don't know, 73 years, you cannot do otherwise. Any other? Good morning. Thanks, professor. Can I, can I ask in Portuguese? Como que a senhora lidou com essa questão de sempre estar duvidando, principalmente no início da carreira como professora? Porque mesmo a senhora tendo tudo isso, né, mestrado, doutorado, foi para fora, e aí depois de voltar as pessoas... E, não sei, falta de... Óbvio, tem aí o racismo, o sexismo, mas também tem muita falta de noção. Um aluno de primeiro, segundo ano, chegar para você, que tem toda essa carreira, e dizer ah tu não sabe física. Sabe? Como foi para tu lidar com isso? Em algum momento, tu duvidou de tu mesma? Assim, porque eu acho que isso afeta muito a nossa saúde mental. No, no filme, inclusive, de hoje, no filme em si não tem, uhum. mas no livro contam que muitas mulheres negras, que não vão aparecer no filme, elas chegaram a ser internadas de tanta pressão que elas sentiam. Então, como foi para tu lidar com isso? Se puder responder. She's asking Thank me you. how Obrigada. did I deal with all the people trying to put me down? I put myself up and upper and up, up, upper, up, up, upper. I could not hear them and be down. I didn't have time. I was, I, I was too qualified to be down or to be sad. Ah, you don't know physics. Okay, yeah, it's possible, but anyway. Now I listen, I ask the guy uh, about some materials and then he answered me. Why don't you research about that? Because that's not I mean, my area. I research what? It's interesting for me. I don't need to research something what is interesting to you. <laughs> Please. Uh, so, and let me tell you, I am daughter of Clélia Marcolino dos Santos. When I was 10, 12 or something, my father was diagnostic, diagnostic with tuberculosis. So he had to be uh, put in a hospital, and she stayed with, I was the oldest one, with four small children. Do you think she started, uh, we're going to starve, we're going to die? No, she created a catering company. I am her daughter. Think a little bit. Can I tell her, mommy, I don't want any more because people say I'm not capable. No, dear, I cannot say it to her. Why you are not capable? You have been capable all this time. What happened? In this town, okay? She's very nice. 
uh, do you know? I cannot fail. I have to succeed and then tell everybody. You said that I wouldn't be capable. Eh, please, you are wrong. <laughs> and this make me survive. <laughs> but sometimes I think I'm crazy. Oh, she says I am crazy. But I am a physics. It's supposed to be crazy, physics. <laughs> Okay, so there is one comment by Angie, who is from Honduras. Your story is amazing. Thank you. She's a young Who is physicist. Angie? It's a young physicist from Honduras. Ah, it's, she's on it's Zoom. Okay, she's, on she's Zoom. In the, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, Angie. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there is any other question. If, okay, so one last question and we go to the uh, posters. Oi, é, Oi, meu nome é Michele, eu queria agradecer Michele. muito a sua, sua palestra, achei incrível, eu já te conhecia de antes, mas é incrível assistir sua história contada por você assim ao vivo, e eu só fiquei em dúvida que você disse que você trabalhava já no ITA, já estava como professora, e eles te expulsaram, eu não sei se eu não entendi direito, ou porque é tão absurdo que eu não sei se era isso mesmo. <risos> o que eu entendi, tipo, você já estava como professora e eles te demitiram e aí depois você conseguiu entrar e aí por causa disso você não consegue mais ser professora titular. Eu não entendi. Você é. entendeu? Uh, she's just asking about being expelled and coming back. E you, você entendeu perfectly. It was exactly what happened to me. And there was another guy with the same. They tinha um outro professor com a mesma avaliação que eu, pior professor do mundo, blá 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 blá. He became, became the uh, director of postgraduation uh, physics at ITA, and I was expelled. Ah tá. Ah tá. Uh, e não tem como reverter <laughs> isso para que você possa virar titular ou você poderia já... mudar de universidade e ser titular em outra universidade. Eu já estou no terceiro ou quarto advogado uhum. e eles querem testemunha. Me diga. Ah. Quem vai testemunhar a meu favor? Lembre-se que eu sou a porcaria da porcaria da porcaria da porcaria. Por que que alguém vai testemunhar? E a pessoa que estava junto comigo em todo esse processo cortou completamente as relações comigo. Sabe assim? Eu morri para ele. E ele passou todo junto comigo. E meu advogado perguntou para ele se ele não seria testemunha. Acabou. Me cortou no WhatsApp, me cortou. Ele, eu não existo mais para ele. Ninguém vai, vai testemunhar, testemunhar contra o Ita, Sim. sabe? O Ita é o Ita. Sinto muito. Bom, é, sinto muito. Por isso, eu né? obrigada pelo. <risos> okay, so before, thank you, Sonia, for the amazing talk. We thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And before, before we move to the uh, coffee break, let me introduce you Nathan Berkovitz. He's the director of this institute. He's going to make an announcement. So, so first let me thank, of course, all the speakers and you for being here. I'm sorry I haven't been able to attend everything. Um, but I have two announcements. Tomorrow is a holiday, so the trains will be running, but a little bit slower, which means you should try to get up a little bit earlier so you'll get here on time. The other announcement is tonight we have a movie that's being shown just near the metro station where you go to change from the yellow line to the green line. So it's called Petra Belas Artes. So the, in English, it's hidden figures. In Portuguese, Estrelas Além do Tempo, it's about three black women who, who, I think everybody knows about the film, who worked for NASA. And it's at 7.30, so you should probably leave here around 6.45, just to make sure, if you don't have your tickets. So there's still plenty of tickets available. It's 11 reais. So if you need instructions how to get there, just ask anybody. But it's, it's two minutes from the, the metro station Paulista. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. So we, we go to the posters and then we come back a little bit before 11 because we have some people connected through Zoom. Oh, and the book for Sonia. Oh, thank you, thank you, you give it to Zelia, Zelia gives thank it. You, thank you, thank you, thank uh, you. you. Okay. Um, uh, first, I, I uh, wish to say, Sonia, thank you very much for excellent, very nice, and a powerful talk. Eu estou sentindo assim muito feliz, muito realizada por estar com a Diva. Esse é um presente para você. 
Tá? Mas isso é pouco perto do que a gente se sente quando a gente está junto com você. Você é uma diva, você irradia. Tá?